All right, Fresh Baked, buckle up because we are about to hit you over the head with a whole bunch of juicy stuff on construction projects going on around the Disneyland Resort. And we're going to start with our very first look at Marvel Land, episode one, <laughs> if you will, of uh, Marvel Land construction. Uh, and we're going to be on the Pixar Pal around. Uh, and this up front, it's, the views are pretty good, I must say. The views are pretty good of what we're able to see. So let's get cracking on that and we're starting you're gonna start on that blue wall that's that's where your focus point should be that blue building that blue wall that is well as soon as we get past this close-up of <laughs> Vicky's or the picture of Paladin that blue wall is where you want to focus your most of your attention early on because that's the oh, okay oh in addition we're gonna be able to see that there's backstage uh you know let's pause there we're going to get two looks. We're going to get the Bugs Land views, which are pretty limited right now because the trees are still in there. Once they get rid of those trees, we'll be able to see a lot more of what's going on. But this is our other view, and that is backstage uh, behind Cars Land and Bugs Land. Now, <clears throat> we're not going to see anything here for a while because Bugs Land is, is the only phase that's under construction right now. Phase one of the Marvel Land construction because they don't know what they're doing with phase two yet <laughs> which they normally we would have already been well into phase two uh but there's a lot of uh discussion and decision making going on at disneyland about what kind of rides to put in uh in marvel land i.e capacity that's been the going talk right now is that the capacity issues that they're having at uh, galaxy's edge which we can discuss in a separate video also uh are, are also occurring at Marvelland, they're they're building these big fancy rides, but they can't process guests quick enough. Uh, the ride capacity is too low, so they're starting over, which is one of the reasons why we haven't seen any progress on Marvelland for such a long time because they couldn't make up their mind. Which is the same thing that's going on at Tomorrowland, and uh, it, you know, in terms of what they're going to do with that, they can't make up their mind. I actually have, <laughs> I've got info on that as well, which we, we may get to in another video, a third video. But in any case. Um, so, but this is a pretty good view of backstage, uh, that will eventually, hopefully, will become, uh, you know, a part of the phase two construction. And let's get back to Bugs Land, where, again, we're going to put our focus on that blue wall right now. That's the Bugs Land, the, you know, it's tough to be a bug theater. Uh, they're, gonna, they're, they're keeping that theater and putting an attraction inside there. And there is, that's it, that's the limit of our construction right there, is that pile of rubble that you see right there. Everything has been dug up. There was there was plants and flowers and stuff in there, and that's been dug up. And it's hard to keep the camera still because we are moving. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest. So uh, it works better when we get to a stop on the, on the fun wheel. That right there, I'm stopping here because that corner, the corner of that building is, I believe, the bathroom in the Bugs, uh, Bugs Land. And I, my understanding is that that building is going to stay. Uh, I'm not positive if that's it or not, but I, it might be. But anyway, that's why I stopped here to take a look at that. And right now we can't see much, like I said, because all those trees. Basically, where you see trees, most of that is Bugs Land. Uh, and a lot of that is going to come down. You can see Mater's down there in the bottom third. It's so close. This land is oddly construction, constructed. It's like an L shape, Bugs Land is. Not a square or a rectangle. That is Tick Tuck and Roll's uh, show area. That's going to be removed and all those trees. You can see the four leaf clovers or the three leaf clovers. And then there's Cars Land again in the foreground. That's, that's Cars Land right there. That's not going anywhere. You can see the wings for Mater's right there. So they're very close. Uh, it's, it, it's interesting how close they are and how this is going to turn into a land. Uh, because like I said, it's oddly shaped. I don't know how much you can fit into these things. Also from the fun wheel, we got this view, and that, my friends, is the former Malibuomer uh, attraction site. And amazingly enough, it was still there. Most of the you know foundation and the queue and all the infrastructure was still there, and they just now are tearing it down in preparation for uh, Emotional Whirlwind, which is the Flix Flyers overlay or uh, reskin. But there you go. You can see this from uh, the Pixar Pal around as well. I just, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, I can't, <laughs> the queue is still there? My goodness. And there's a higher view of 
the construction, and, or destruction, I should say. Now, if you wanted to know what was there before, or how it looked before, this is the Malaboomer. Uh, I'm assuming this is from the, uh, the, the Mickey's Fun Wheel as well. <clears throat> Not, you know, I don't have anything that matches our view, as best as I can tell, but that's, that's, the, that's the site that just got dug up. You can't, even, you, know, you can't even see the queue from here, which is interesting. It's probably to the left out of frame. Uh, but there you go. And then, in addition, you can see what's happening over at Jesse's Carousel, which has been stripped and, uh, you know, there's nothing there right now, which is, so we're going to be able to see, you know, as they install stuff, which is pretty neat. That's kind of fun. It's, even though it's Jesse's Carousel, it's still, we get, you know, for construction fans like myself, uh, we can watch them pretty much build this thing again from scratch. The only thing that they left behind was the shell. Fascinating, right? Here's a ground floor look. At Jesse's carousel. And while we're still, we're going to stay here in Pixar Pier for a minute to show you this, which is how the Malaboomer slash uh, emotional whirlwind site looks from the ground. Uh, they've taken all the trees out. This is how it looked just a few weeks ago. Those trees were still there. Not the same angle, but you can get the idea. Uh, all those trees are gone. That's the, the view of, that we had there was from down there. Uh, no bing bong yet, still, which is worrisome. Still no bing bong. Now, I don't know, as we pause here, I don't know if this, what the, what the reason is for the delay. Because, I mean, he should have been here. How hard could it be? To, unless it was some kind of animatronic. It's the only thing I could think of, is that it was some kind of animatronic. Um, or there's, something, there's some other you know, complicated mechanism involved with either the candy dispensary or something like that. Because why wouldn't they have, why isn't he here? He, <laughs> why? I don't, anyway, no bing bong yet, and who knows, maybe we never get him. Back over at Bugs Land, you can see they've finally taken down the, uh, the main entrance sign. So it's a pretty blank view from there as well. Let's head back to Disneyland for some updates. This is where it's going to get really fun, I think, and if it hasn't been fun already. Uh, and I say that only because, well, first we'll, we'll show you these. No progress here on the Main Street facades. They're just getting repainted. So, you know, nothing much to report there. Also, no visible changes here, although I do have information or have learned that they are, in fact, widening those walkways. And I, I, in the previous update, I, it seemed illogical to me that they would do that, and I was hoping that they wouldn't do that because, A, I just, I mean, I, whoever complains about the, the walkways not being wide enough going into Frontierland? There are areas of Frontierland and Adventureland that aren't wide enough, uh, once you pass the bridge, you know, between Tiki Room and, you know, the actual bridge is narrow and that causes a bottleneck, but not the way into that bridge. And that's, that, that's what's confusing about this is that it is just the walkways leading up to the actual bridge uh, that are being widened. So the actual bridge is not being widened. The part that needs to be widened is not being widened. Uh, <laughs> it's going to, I mean, and to my mind, it feels... It, uh, I imagine it's something of an hourglass, hourglass shape, you know, where it, you know, it narrows in the middle where the bridge is and then widens again. doesn't make any sense, but obviously the idea here is that they're trying to extract every square foot of available pedestrian space in preparation for Galaxy's Edge. They're trying to, they're trying to make it easier for people to get through here on their way to Galaxy's Edge, um, which I commend them for, and it's, it is useful and so far, you know, many of the changes, the planners and stuff like that, we've seen them remove, have not been deal breakers for me. The stuff in Tomorrowland and New Orleans Square. Uh, and I don't know how I'm going to feel about this when it's done, because normally I've only been able to say that once I've seen the completed, you know, piece done. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about this in the future. But what I didn't report on last week was that it also extends over to Fantasyland. This is that walkway as you pass... Uh, the pin trading shop, the walkway between Frontierland, it's kind of a secret path in a way, uh, the path between Frontierland and Princess Fantasy Fair, that's, that's the Royal Hall, the Royal Theater, I should say, on the left, and there goes one of the maidens. Uh, this, you know, the scrims do extend, and you can see through there, that is a definite earth mover in there. If I understand my earth moving equipment correctly, that is a backhoe, and that is for digging. So they're digging <laughs> back there, not just cleaning they're digging, uh, which is, that's, a, that's an important observation to make. Uh, and then also, this is a planter. This is another planter 
there used to be flowers here and stuff. And those have been removed. Here's a look at New Orleans Square. I didn't, we didn't get it down to New Orleans today or on this day, so I couldn't show you from the, from the ground. But that's how it looks now after they removed that planter. Looks okay. Let's head over to Matterhorn, where we're going to have more fun with uh, the Matterhorn update this week. There's a backside view, as it were. Not the good side. This is the good side, obviously. We can see a lot more from here as we pass on. And here we go. Look at that. They have, in fact, cleared out I don't know, a third of that planter that was there before. It's the same length, but it's been narrowed by about a third. Uh, if we look at last week, uh, you can see that the part that's, it doesn't have a fence, but it has, they haven't removed anything yet. Uh, but that's about, yeah, they've trimmed it by about a third, right? The right third. So they've saved that concrete over there on the left where all the construction equipment and, you know, setup stuff is, the staging area. Uh, and but they've removed about about a third of the planter. So that's they, they basically that's what that's for is that they've given guests another I don't know. Oh look, they've also removed that planter. Oh boy, they removed all the planters next to or adjacent to the Matterhorn Q. Boy, I sure hope they put something back there. <sighs> oh no, uh, that's right. Uh, word is is that they are in fact extending that Q. Maybe not. I got I to gotta process this. <laughs> I'm doing this live, Fresh Baked, in case you haven't noticed. I have not studied this very much. Uh, I've been sick this week, so I'm trying to do this on the fly. Boy, they have they've taken out all the planners. They're going to extend that queue. I don't know if it's going to be the same, if they're going to make the building bigger or just create an awning that lengthens it, which I, I'm, I'm going to assume an awning, because if they were going to make that a, a, just a larger queue, they would have torn off the roof and rebuilt it. So they're just going to put in an awning for that area to create some shade. And that's going to be, those are going to be switchbacks. Got to be, that's got to be switchbacks between the fence and the, and the, and the main queue where there used to be that, those planners and everything guests will now stand. Now this isn't to say that they haven't also created more, more space for guests because as I mentioned, they took out a third of the planner. So they've actually done both effectively They've, uh, they've given us more room to walk a good two feet on the left. That's another, you know, person, that's another shoulder wide. That's how I measure paths. I'm sure how a lot of people would anyway. How many shoulders can you fit across? Can you fit three shoulders, four shoulders, five? You know, that, that's, that's a big deal when it comes to, you know, guest traffic. And I would say that's, that they've, they've added a shoulders width uh, walkway there while also extending the Matterhorn queue. So I guess, I guess that's good, right? <laughs> I guess that's good. <laughs> Let's continue, but just for a brief second, because, yeah, they've done, now here we've seen some major devastation. They have obliterated <laughs> that, that former planner area, which was a big planner, but you can see that they have taken out a good three-quarters, three-quarters, <laughs> a good three-quarters of that planner. Now let's look at last week. Matter of fact, that, that shot isn't very good. Let's go back another week. This is two weeks ago. There we go. That's a lot better. Boy, what a, <laughs> amazing differences, right? Okay, so that's, that's two weeks ago. And yeah, man, it's almost completely gone. I don't know how much of that, because uh, it goes under the monorail track. I don't know how much of that. It looks like it narrows. Like they didn't take the whole thing, but they just narrow. Boy, like just the tip, man. But why even bother leaving any of that unless it does get bigger as it approaches the monorail track? But that's, that's a lot of, boy, oh boy, that's a lot of uh, real estate that they've added, you know, for pedestrian. So that's going to narrow too then. The walkway is going to be super wide right there, and then it's going to narrow as it approaches the Matterhorn queue. Interesting. Very interesting. Goodbye, trees and shrubs and et cetera. And we'll continue. And by the way, they're still working on that stuff right there. Just some probably cosmetic work on the mountain itself. Okay, no update today from Tiki Room other than to say that there's kind of an interesting observation that Ian made that, that made, makes a lot of sense to me, but I'm still kind of wondering how possibly true it is. Um, Disney has updated the the reopen date for Tiki Room for October 3rd, which is just, what, uh, two weeks from now. 
If they're going to open the Tiki Room on October 3rd, does it seem reasonable that they'll open Tropical Hideaway then too? Because, I don't know if you remember, they've dug up, they have ripped out the old guest exit from the Tiki Room. When you leave, the t- unless, they, unless they have you go out the front door, which is the only thing that I can think of, but that, doesn't, that is a logistical nightmare. How are guests leaving the Tiki Room if the exit ramp has been destroyed, basically? Uh, and that's just last week or two weeks ago. So I, I don't think that they could have done enough in that time. So does that mean, it, is Tropical Hideaway going to be open in two weeks? I don't see how that's possible, considering this. That's a current view <laughs> of Tropical Hideaway over the wall. This is from Twitter user Wesley M. James, and he took a couple over the wall picks. And I, I don't see how there's any chance that they can be, this can go from this case, this condition, to done in two weeks. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't see how it's possible. But either that is the case. It's either that. If they're opening a Tiki Room on October 3rd, it's either that or they have another plan, temporary plan for the Tiki Room. I have to, Occam's Razor suggests that they have another plan because I just don't, I don't see how that's possible. A tropical Hideaway is nowhere near done. They have, they're not, have they even begun? Like, <laughs> this is, this is not, this is not a site that looks to be anywhere near ready, not two weeks ago or two weeks away from ready. So uh, where it seemed logical that you'd need, because these two things are, are symbiotic now, Tropical Hideaway and, and the Tiki Room, they're very symbiotic. Their exits, you know, share, they share an exit. Uh, I don't, don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. But there you go, Fresh Baked. I'd love to hear your opinions on that. What do you think? Where, where are the guests going to go? If, Like I said, if you recall, that, that thin access ramp that, you, that guests use to exit uh, the Tiki Room is gone. So where do they send the guests back out the front, out, back out the exit or the entrance? It's the only thing I can think of. And they're going to have to requeue. Because you know how the guests at, at, at Tiki Room, they're all up there by the door. They're all waiting there by the door for it to open. So you're going to have to limit guests from going into that area, which I guess you could do. There isn't, a lot, there isn't enough space in the pre-show area to, to herd guests. They'd have to rope it off and then have a guest cast member, I guess, unchain that you know, chain and let people in. That's the only thing I could think of. But anyway, I'd love to hear from you guys. Let us know what you think about all these updates because it is fascinating. This is a fascinating uh, phase we're in in terms of construction around the park with all kinds of interesting projects happening Matterhorn Bugs Land Tropical Hideaway uh yeah lots to talk about so uh, let us know you guys your your thoughts and uh, we'll see you next time fresh baked we've got lots more videos for you to see so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having we truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you next time fresh baked